So I was bored and I made up a trick shot to try and throw an extra energy card into a clothespin. Oh, I caught it. Let's go. Oh, you did it. Yes. And then this happened. That's cool. But I bet you can't land it in this. And then I was like, a top loader? That's nearly impossible. Ha 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 ha. No, I'll do it. And then he was all, then put your Hidden Fates Charizard on the line. Oof. You have 24 hours or else the Charizard is mine. Oh yeah, well, if I get it, then you have to, you have to clean the cards up. Yeah. Where are you going? Where he was going didn't matter though. What mattered was that I had 24 hours to land this trick shot or else my PSA 10 Hidden Face Charizard was gonna be gone forever. Cause this kid would probably sell it for Fortnite skins. Probably not, but maybe. Almost an hour into this, my arm is really starting to hurt. And then I saw something pretty cool. You see the floor? It's so colorful. Well, it gave me a great idea. This table right here in my office is super boring. Let's make it better. So I go into the garage, give it a good wipe down, and then I use this stuff called Mod Podge to glue these Pokemon energies down on the table. After they dry, I cut the edges off and voila! A table with energies glued down on it. Not exciting yet. Next, I find some wood and I start sawing. After that, I secure the wood pieces along the edges, add some Pokemon coins I had sitting around for a little bling bling, if you know what I mean. Money. And now it's time to brew. And by brew, I mean, I found this plastic cauldron from Halloween because I didn't have any other containers. And then I take these two ingredients, mix them together, and yeah, brew. Yeah, it's kind of lame, I know. Anyway, after the witch's brew is done, I pour it onto the table, even it out, and use a heat gun to get rid of the bubbles. And then, well, now I just gotta wait for it to harden up. Now I can go back to, wait, who's that? Oh, that's my daughter, Kai. What you doing? And I was like, uh, I was just bored and I was making the table. And then she's all, cool, can I make something too? Sure, what do you want to make? Hmm, jewelry. Hmm, okay. We got Kai. We got more Mod Podge. Dimensional magic. Some Scythers. These necklace coloriuses. I don't know how to pronounce that. And these little trinket frame thingies. Kai loves dog Pokemon, so we cut out a rock ruff and a yamper into circles, popped them into these frame thingies, and then slowly added the Mod Podge, which looks like it came from a mill tank, but I promise it dries clear. And then there was me. I cut out a circle from one of my favorite cards, the Alt Art Charizard from Brilliant Stars, which I just pulled in a recent video, which was super awesome. So yeah, that's mine. Oh, and yeah, I'm not that kind of guy. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. I didn't use the real card, of course. I cut this out of one of the pages from the Elite Trainer Box packet that they give you. Anyway, then Kaoni comes back and he says, what are you guys doing? We're making jewelry, but we gotta wait for it to dry. And he was all like, oh, wanna play Nerf? And I was all, are you just trying to distract me? Mm, okay, let's play. That was actually pretty fun, but I had a job to do and a Charizard to protect. At this point, it was time for dinner. Then we watched some TV, and after that, we put the kids to bed. Then, I was back at it, and I had the cameras rolling for proof in case I made it, but unfortunately, after another hour of trying, and hundreds of energy cards later, I fell asleep. Okay, well, I didn't sleep there all night, but April, my wife, did step over me at one point, which was pretty savage. The next morning. Anyway, after breakfast, I checked on the jewelry Kai and I made and they were ready. I showed them to Kai and she was stoked. We put the little necklace thingy around the rock ruff and boom, look at that smile. That's what this is all about. My Charizard was next, it's looking super dope. We added the little necklace thingy and boom. I love it. High five Kai, let's dance it out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, let's check on the table. Handsaw. Let's sand it down. Power wash. And polish. What sound? I don't even know what sound this makes. And so smooth. Let's put my stuff back on and let's take a closer look. What the heck am I doing? Back to the challenge. Time check. We're cutting this a little close, but you know what? As I was throwing my 5,469th card, probably, I wondered, what if I could build a machine to throw these cards more efficiently? It's time for it. Lego. Last time I was here, I built the Slab Shaker 3000 to see if shaking graded cards cause damage. But this time, introducing the Energy Shooter 3000. And one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Okay, let's test it out with the kids first. All right, now for the real deal. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, let me try that one more time. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. 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 So I have about two hours left and Keone's looking at me through the stairs because he and I both know what's at stake. The pressure is mounting and a few times I get close. I burn through about a thousand energy cards at this point and I need to reload. There's not much time left. All of a sudden, this happens. Oh, I got it. Does this count? Does this count? Sort of, it, it did go all the way in, but Kaoni came out and he was like, about that part. No. It doesn't count. More attempts. More times going by. My arm is starting to hurt. And then there was just one minute left. Kaoni came out to watch. This was my last chance. And I lost. I didn't do it. I swore I was gonna do it, but it just didn't work out. So I went into my office, grabbed the Charizard, and kept my word like I always do. There you go. Thank you. Sorry. No, it's all good. You won fair and square. Good yeah, game. Good game. Good game. And all I can hope for is that one day, I'll have a chance to get it back.